Hi guys, welcome back to Katiabi Fight Training. Uh, this is Hams. Uh, I'm gonna show you today how to use some electrical commands to create connection between equipments and connectors. So let's start with this product with two two connectors and one equipment. Let's go to electrical symbol design workbench. Here we have these two toolbars electrical device definitions and electrical connection point definition this one is to to tell Katia if if our product is gonna be a connector or equipment as you can see here the fine mounting equipment fine equipment this one is the fine shell connector contact filler plug or back shell and this one is to create the cavities Terminations, um, connect, connector connection point, bundle connection point, uh, cavity connection point, backshell connection point, and shell connection point. And these two icons is to create an electrical link between equipment, connectors, or the things that you have with electrical properties. Okay, I, I will show you the two ways that I know how to do this and let's start giving the electrical properties to our equipment so this is going this one is gonna be an equipment so we go to the fine equipment this one is the Philips model so just click it on it and press OK and now you see the icon change. My computer is not working very good, so sometimes the geometry disappears. So don't worry. Um, after that, now we need to define the cavities for these two connectors. So let's go to define cavity. Select the equipment and select the representation. For example, I want the first cavity here on this side so this is one way how to do this so I want they have a contact here this face and they have coincidence on this this pin alright and press ok and let's define the another cavity for this one but for this one we're going to create it different so let's create a middle point here because we're going to create an axis just let me create a point you select, just put here surface and just put 0 millimeters used to have uh, the middle point press ok and after that let's go to create um, an axis system go to insert axis system and or you, you select the point that you just create mm, I want my my X like this one you can change the direction when the Y like this and like that it's okay alright now let's go back to electrical symbol design let's define another cavity for this equipment when the representation on this I want to have contact on this point. I want they have the coincidence on the X and an orientation on the Z. Alright? Press OK. Um, okay, now our equipment have the electrical properties. You can see here on the tree, cavity 1 and cavity 2. Now let's work on the connectors mm. go to 
well the first thing you need to do is define connector just click on the command and click the connector oops sorry let me see Let me double click here. Okay, there you go. And you can add the number of termination. For example, this one is gonna have two, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Press OK. The icon change you can see here. And now we need to define the cavity connection point. Alright. So select the command, select the component. Select the representation of one this face, and remember that we make a contact. We want to have contact to this face, so we're going to select this face, and we have the coincidence of this hole with the top pin. All right, just select OK. After that, our connector have the electrical properties here. And we can use now the connection electrical device. So select first you need to select the the component that you want to move. In this case, I want to move the connector to the equipment because if you select first the equipment to the connector, the equipment is gonna move. We don't want that. So let's go to select the connector and if you put your mouse over the command, you can see cavity 1 and cavity 2. We want this on the cavity 1, just click on it, and now you can see the constraints. Our equipment is electrically connected. Alright, so let me show you what happens if you move the equipment. If we move the equipment, like this, you can see the constraints are in dark because they are not complying or you need an update. So I just press update and now the equipment move. Alright. Just let me put control D. Okay. And now let's create the, the connection point for this connector. This one is going to have in the other way that I know. It's creating an axis system. So let me go to the connector. Let me, let me create a, a middle point here on this surface. Just put zero. Can use preview, press OK. And now let's go to insert access system. The origin select the point. Uh, we want the X this edge and the Y this edge. And I want to change the direction of this. Alright, okay. Let me change the reverse. Select the SD here. And you can change the reverse the direction. Alright, press OK. And now, okay, let's go back. Double click the top of the product to go back to the electrical workbench. Now let's define this one as a connector. Mm -hmm. Select the connector, okay. One thing to make sure if the icon change, it means you do it great. And now let's go to select yeah, and define cavity connection point. Select it for this connector. The representation is gonna be this point. 
no 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 I mean I mean the face sorry the contact is gonna be this point the coincidence remember we saw the first the X and the orientation is D press OK and now let's see what happened when you connect electrically uh, when you already have used one copy you wanna see it on red if you try to connect it here it don't allow you so select cavity 2 and now our equipment is connected the difference between this one and this method is that if I put transparency to this connector you can see here it's not aligned I do it that on purpose just to to show you that you can move the axis just to to have it more when, well when you need to align some connectors because not all the connectors are always like in the same dimensions sometimes you need to to move them maybe sometimes the pins are not aligned so to move the axis use go to your cavity connection point remember we create two two points for the axis just double click oh sorry double click on the point and you can change to length for example I'll put one now you can see the point move to the to the right so if if I go back up oh, sorry if I go back to the product double click it automatically update the the connector but as you can see here it's not aligned yet we need to move the connector more more up so we need to change on the um, Y Let's see what happened. Just keep playing with the coordinates that you need to do sometimes. As you can see here, it moves up, but it was too much. So just double click again. Just put, for example, minus 0.5. Let's see what happened. in the other direction sorry well anyway this is the two ways that I know how to do this so keep playing with them with the settings sometimes you can see how the axis is moving sometimes no like this and I hope you understand and if you have more questions about this just let me know and oh yes and just let me add this connector these two connectors to our main assembly remember this is this is what are we going to build a harness to connect this equipment I like to work in two products at the same time because you can see the changes how they look in the main assembly so after this I'm gonna show you how to um, 
how to create the wire harness, how to add the, the attachments for for this harness. I'm gonna create two harness, one harness going from here to here, another harness going from here to here. And we're going to cross all the ribs and we're going to add some attachment. Right, uh, I hope you understand all this and thanks thanks guys for watching. Take care.